Hola, hola, ¿cómo estamos? Bien. Yeah. Epa. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Xiaowu hao. Yeah. Thank you all for being here on what feels like the first day of fall, maybe, maybe still summer. Um, I want to start by thanking our volunteers today. We have Jocelyn, we have Joseph, we have David, we have Sander, we have Rachel, Rebecca, Mariana, and so many others. Thank you so much to the volunteers. Give it up to them. Thank you to Sai Jin. Give it up to Sai Jin. I want to thank the vendors today, my neighbor Alicia Cariño. Gracias Alicia por ayudarnos. I want to thank today's amazing performers. We saw some of um, Benito's dancers from Ballet Folclorico Quetzalcoatl. Un aplauso para ellos. Y próximamente van a ver a los tecuanes bailar, así que un aplauso para los tecuanes. Quiero agradecer, I want to thank Mayra Aguilar, an old friend who came out today, who's been working at the front lines of this pandemic as a registered nurse. Thank you, Mayra, for your service, and thank you for coming out today. Gracias, Mayra. I want to thank Carmen Valdivieso Holbert, who's a lifelong community activist, a journalist, a former candidate for city council to represent this district as a Green Party candidate, and a former delegate to Bernie Sanders for President's campaign. Thank you, Carmen, for being here. I obviously want to thank my brother, Reverend Juan Carlos, Ruiz, who has to run to do a baptism in New Jersey, but whose blessing and whose support means the world to me. Gracias por estar aquí, Juan Carlos. I want to thank Norberta Diaz, who came here in support of this campaign as a longtime friend. Gracias, Norberta, por estar aquí. To Leti and Ray, por estar aquí. Gracias, Leti. To all my neighbors and friends. Uh, before we start, Last night we got some really horrible news. We learned that Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg died after 87 years of service, 87 years of life, and over seven decades of service. So I want to have just a moment of silence for Supreme Court Justice Ginsburg. Thank you. Thank you so much. I took off my mask and we're at distance, so I hope everyone feels safe. <laughs> um, so for those that don't know me, my name is Rodrigo Camarena. I am a proud immigrant from Mexico, a longtime Sunset Park activist and community organizer, a husband and father to the most wonderful six-month-old baby who's standing over there or sitting over there. And I'm here today to introduce myself as candidate to represent the 38th Council District in the New York City Council. Woo! I first came to Sunset Park 16 years ago. I was a young college student, and I came to volunteer at the Mixteca organization. Mixteca is a vital hub for recently arrived immigrants, and I started teaching English at Mixteca. You know, I've been involved with Mixteca for the last 15 years, and you can tell that I instantly fell in love with this community and with this organization. And it didn't hurt that Sunset Park had the best Mexican food that I could find outside of Mexico. You know, while I came to Sunset Park over a decade ago, the classroom at Mixteca felt completely familiar to me. Mixteca reminded me of the classroom where my mom went to learn English when she first came to this country 28 years ago. I would sit next to my mom's chair, hold her hand as she mouthed the teacher's words. My mother's experience learning English and my parents' journey into this country is what led me to get involved with Mixteca and become the director of the organization in 2006. Mixteca and Sunset Park changed my life. This neighborhood showed me the power of community, 
showed me the power of organizing and yet how powerless so many in our community are to the effects of displacement, exploitation at the workplace, and illness. My experience at Mixteca motivated me to earn a master's degree in economics and work in government at the New York City Department of Small Business Services. There I fought to protect small businesses like the ones that line 5th and 8th Avenues. There I fought to make sure that our programs were accessible in over nine languages like Arabic and Urdu. And there I fought to help small businesses in Red Hook and Citywide recover from Superstore Sandy. I led the city's first and largest initiative to support worker-owned businesses. Cooperatively owned businesses like Cisa Puede Cooperative, right here from Sunset Park, the, the Beyond Care Cleaning Cooperative, a child care co-op. These are businesses that are democratically owned by immigrants and working people. And it's been the honor of my life to see that initiative grow. Today I'm the director of a national immigrant advocacy organization and I wake up every day fighting this administration's attacks on our immigrant neighbors. I do this for communities around the country and communities like this one right here in Sunset Park. I'm here today as a candidate because our community is at risk. We're at risk of being displaced due to a historic, and economic, historic economic and housing crisis and to the building of luxury condos and luxury stores that are being built right here in our historical, historic industrial waterfront. I'm running for city council because our community is hurting. This community has lost too many of its members to COVID-19, a virus that has disproportionately impacted black and brown New Yorkers, immigrants, and workers that make a minimum wage, yet are essential to our city. I'm running because this community deserves better. It deserves a representative that will lead on issues and listen to the people. A representative that will stand up to private and developer interests. A representative that will reclaim the public spaces and public resources that our politicians have given away over decades. This is a campaign that believes that housing is a human right and that in the richest country, in the richest city in the world, nobody should have to be homeless. This is a campaign that believes that migration is beautiful, that immigrants are an integral part of the city, have dignity, and should have the right to vote. This is a campaign that believes that everyone has dignity and that working people deserve more than just a fighting chance. And this is a campaign that believes that black lives matter, that trans lives matter, and that we should stop funneling six billion dollars to a police department that brutalizes us and whose union recently endorsed Tr Donald Trump for president. That ain't right. This is a campaign that believes that child care is essential and that our educators and teachers should be prioritized, listened to, and that we should do everything in our power to make sure that our children feel safe and supported at school. As your next city council member, I will fully fund and integrate our schools. I will fight to make sure that our children's future is safe and that they thrive. And that just not children that can afford private tutors and win the school's placement lottery can succeed. As your next city council member, I'll protect our small businesses. I'll stop the criminalization of our street vendors and fight to stop big businesses and chain stores from coming into our city. As your next city council member, I'll tax large corporations and work with our partners in the state to tax the rich. We can use that money to fully fund NYCHA, to work towards a just recovery, and to fund the workers that have been excluded by this federal government. And as your representative, I'll overhaul the land rules of the city and create a citywide comprehensive plan that's grounded in racial, economic, and environmental justice. We're gonna stop Industry City from growing, and we're gonna stop the city's legacy of racist and unjust rezonings. But before we can do these big things, we gotta make sure our community gets counted. 
And that's why we're here today. That's right. So if you're a volunteer with this campaign, raise your hand. If you're a volunteer with this campaign, they'll be here helping you get, uh, get counted with the census. We'll be registering you to vote and obviously to take part in this campaign. We need to push back on this president's racist tactics to intimidate and make working people and immigrants scared of being counted. We have to make sure our voices get heard today at the ballot box in November, and obviously next summer when we run and win a campaign to represent this community uh, in city council. My name is Rodrigo Camarena. I'm an immigrant, a father, and I'm running for city council. And I'm asking you to join this movement to build a new New York, a New York that's truly for all of us. Thank you so much.